Aloha everybody, this is a lava update for August 4th, 2018. I have a map that's from August 3rd from the USGS. This is their official lava map. And I'll zoom you in on it a little bit to check it out. Get it a little zoomed in here. Okay, so as of right now, Pohiki is still there. The boat ramp is still there at the time of this filming, but that could all change. There's a lot of lava coming from Fisher 8. This is the most active fissure, and it has produced record numbers uh, that the USGS has been studying this whole time. I've been living in Leilani the whole eruption. It started in May 3rd, or started on May 3rd, and has gone over three months. And there has been 24 fissures opening up. And it's just a disaster. We are preparing for Hurricane Hector, so that could, you know, cause some problems. But typically, Hawaii uh, will avoid the really big hurricanes. We avoid, you know, somehow uh, the hurricanes get broken up. I think it's either the mountain breaks it up. Some people say it's the, the heat from the lava. You know, there's uh, some theories. But nonetheless, we have been hit by some pretty strong hurricanes. Anyway, that would cause a lot of problems if we were to get hit by a hurricane. Um, it could either come from the north, I think they're saying, and last I checked, it was at a category three. So that is a serious uh, threat. Um, we're already going through one natural disaster. We don't need another one. And civil defense is already spread pretty thin. So as of right now, the lava has started creeping towards uh, Pohiki. I guess the ocean entry is slowly reactivating, you know, close to, you know, the south part of the flow. This is Pohiki and this is south. And the northern flow is still active, you know, this whole area is still active and it's, you know, a very long, you know, active lava flow. And as of today, August 4th, there's not a whole lot of change. Uh, let's see, there has been some brush fires in the past couple days in this area and in this area, some breakouts, some overflows that will cause brush fires. Now we lost the camera. There is a uh, live stream camera at the geothermal plant right here, but that was taken a few days ago uh, by a brush fire. So we have to be concerned about this whole area could have uh, problems with brush fires. Uh, it's a lot of mass plant die-off right here because of the SO2 levels. And the wind blows this way, so it'll typically, uh, you know, this part will be green. Right, and this whole area will be like a brown, dead plant kind of uh, uh, scene because of pea cow, which is right here, having lots of uh, plant die off in this area and this area right here. It's not fully shown on the map, but you can get the idea. There's a lot of uh, concern about wildfires and people are wanting to uh, create fire breaks around their house, which is very smart. So just make sure you're prepared for lava and prepared for a hurricane and a brush fire and of course earthquakes at the summit. There's been plenty of earthquakes. I mean it's basically just a you know, day-to-day -day occurrence. We have earthquakes and it's just a lot, of, a lot of natural disaster going on in Hawaii. Big Island Hawaii is, is uh, you know, it's an interesting place to live, to say the least. Okay, so to sum it up, Fisher 8 is still active. This morning I observed the lowest glow that I've seen, so it's a very low glow in at least the past uh, couple weeks, you know, and uh, I'm very encouraged with that. You know, maybe it will stop. I always said it would go for about nine months, but if it goes for, you know, four months, that's uh, that's okay with me, you know, or less, because it's over three months right now <laughs> that this has been going on, and the residents are kind of uh, over it, to say the least. It's beautiful, but uh, let's uh, get back to some kind of normal life. Of course, it'll never be normal, 
Uh, again, as you can tell, there's been so much land that's covered and so many roads that have been cut off. This is uh, the 137 and the 132 have been, uh, you know, a lot of it has been covered, you know, miles and miles of it, you know. So, there you go. That's an update for August 4th. It's about noon, so it's a midday update. And I hope you subscribe, like, comment. I love all your comments. Let me know what you think. Will this lava flow stop here soon? And make sure you hit the bell symbol to get notifications for when I upload a video. You can watch it and tell me what you think. And check me out on Instagram at His Survival. And until next time, ahui!